Good morning from Grand. Yeah. Good morning. Never again. Now we're ready. Let's try not to open that again. Yeah. For day two. Crossing over to Green Turtle today, but first we gotta do some bottom fishing. This is our first full day here. The boat is a mess. If Michael didn't get up early and start cleaning, because that's just the kind of guy he is. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab whatever bottom fishing stuff and jigging stuff we have and kind of set that up. We'll be doing a little bit of each of those. But we're just kind of all getting up now. And we're gonna get everything set up for a nice little run. It is dive day. Everyone is gearing up. Got my ghillie bag. Love this thing. Got all my dive gear in here. And then some. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna be using. Probably that. Definitely some fins. Got my gloves, got my socks. I think I'm gonna wear this topper and some pants. I already got a mask out, there's a snorkel, got a weight belt. I'm gonna go ahead and put this bag away so we have more room in the back of the boat. Ooh, throw flasher, can't forget the throw flasher. But I think that's everything. Float line, flashers don't need, tourniquet hopefully we don't need, but that is my ghillie bag, check them out. They make all sorts of bags. I absolutely love this thing. We have some pretty green water. I'm not gonna lie to you. But hopefully it cleans up with the tide. Connie, how excited are you? Scared. Scott, how excited are you? Connie's scared, I'm excited. There we go. That says Connie's a girl. Like a girl. All right. We're gonna switch over to the mask cam, get finished dressing up, and hop in the water. It is the dive time. This is what I've really come to the Bahamas for. I have not dove in months, and to be able to do it for the first time in a while in some pristine Bahama conditions was just awesome. Now the spear I'm using here, this is a pole spear, and this particular pole spear is the Headhunter Nomad. It's a big, heavy-duty pole spear, great for targeting big fish around rocks, big groupers and stuff like that. Uh, and the way they work is you Put the rubber band that's at the end of the spear between your thumb and your pointer finger and you pretty much launch it into fish. You stretch it back and that's what I'm going to do right here. Now I saw a grouper go into this rock and it's not a big grouper by any means but we wanted a white fish to use in ceviche so I got lined up on this Nassau grouper, took my time, got close with the pole spear and let it fly. Now that's by no means a big fish, but we got dinner secured, we got something, we're happy. Now I can be a lot more selective, and it didn't take long for this fish to get beat because about four seconds later, there's Casey with a massive hogfish. He got down there on that fish, I mean it was no more than 20 feet away from me, and he secured it. Awesome hogfish, we'll go ahead and show you that one. That's an impressive one. Good. Here you are. I saw that thing came up. Nut, huh? Well, Casey started us off with our first good fish of the day. Nice one. Solid one. I wanted to make sure we got some dinner, so I took a shot on a Nassau. He's in there. We're not going to show that to you right now. Next to Casey's hog. There's the sun coming out a little bit. Very happy. Good nice start. one. A couple spots later, Connie went ahead and did the exact same thing, stoning her first ever hogfish. She's got hogfish, but she stoned this one, which means she Perfect killed it instantly shot. and it changed color, giving this fish a really cool look. He fucking rolled underwater. Yeah? Yeah, it was really cool. Good shot, dog. Oh, thanks. I did it, guys! Yeah. I got my stud. Alright, Michael, gear up. I got Big 
one for Connie. Heck yeah. Who's bigger, Drew or Casey's? Probably Casey's still. Still a good one. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Thanks. I don't know. Those things are both fucking good. Now, since we weren't seeing the big groupers, I decided to switch out to my Headhunter Gorilla Sling, which is a different type of spear, and I was going to get my shot on my big hog. This big hog was out in the grass just kind of feeding, and he came and gave me the typical dumb hog shot. But that wasn't over there. The fight was on. I wanted to follow the fish, get my hands on him. I didn't want him to get rocked up because then you got shark problems. So I always want to try to get the fish on the same dive that I shoot it on. Uh, doesn't always work that way. But when it can work that way, it saves you a big hassle. It went from what could have been a 10 minute dive to just keeping it right there at just 45 seconds or so. And this was gonna be my trophy hogfish. What'd you get, Jojo? Oh, look at that mouth on that guy. Hoggies! <laughs> we got the camera guy in the background. Getting the shot. I'm gonna just go to that side, are you good? That's the one I was looking for. Nice hog on the gorilla sling. That's a stud. Everyone's getting studs. I just had the worst luck and couldn't find one. Connie, you're aiming low. They finally found one. It's going in here. We're going to clean them up later. Go, Scott. Go ahead. Now Michael was able to get a shot off a hogfish and we had a big reef shark buzzing around us and while we're not afraid of them, we want to kind of err on the side of caution if for no other reason that we're so far from any kind of help. So I wanted to get over there, help secure the fish, uh, and make sure that I had a spear to keep between me and Michael and the shark because even a little bite or a little injury when you're so far away from any kind of real help or real hospital or something like that could be a big deal. Now let's go to this yellow jack. He came in hot. Yellow jacks make awesome sashimi. And I found the off switch on that one. I pulled back that sling, let it fly, hit him in the El Rolo spot, and I stoned that fish. I then went ahead and tucked him into my uh, weight belt for diving, because this was the beginning of a dive. I was knew I was going to be swimming around a little bit, and the fish was completely dead. So I tucked him into my weight belt, continued diving for about 15 minutes, and then this happened. Joey, why are the sharks following you? I don't know. Scott told me to get out of the water. <laughs> I swear I stoned him. He just came back alive. What is it? A yellow jack. As I pulled myself up into the boat, the fish kicked, swam from my waist all the way up to my shoulder and was alive apparently. Oh, oh. <laughs> He's not dead anymore. It's a yellow jack. Super good sushi. Connie wants white sushi. Got it. We got it. Where now? Connie, what did you do for the first time today? A stone too. I you didn't see noticed. the second one. Well, I didn't get any on video of Connie's, but she stoned them. It's not on video, didn't I? And what's that? Is that your other one? Uh, that one, I think. The big one's yours. The one in the middle. Jumbos. There's five of us. That is the hogfish pile for the day. Yeah. We're having hog. Look how pretty. I mean, think you doing double hogs. There we go. Look at those guys. Give me one more look at the fish, then we're cruising into Spanish. I'll show you around there a little bit. Giant hogs. Those are abaco hogs there. And then we're doing sushi. Sushimi with the jack. 
I am stoked to see how that jack clip turned out. I want to drive the boat. Such a pretty boat. Spanish. This is where Mason likes to go swimming. They got some big boats that come in here. If you come to Spanish, you need three things. Number one, Donnie breakfast sandwich. Number two, bushwhacker. I don't, I don't drink, so I don't do the bushwhackers, but they're gonna have about 10 of them. And number three, Michael's bread pudding. Giants. Giants. Big old lemon shark cruising in. Look at the size of that lemon. That's a full grown lemon. Lemon sharks are huge. Yes. That hit the spot. Food and bushwhackers for them. I got a milkshake and it was fantabulous from Spanish. Does everybody have a good time? This time. The people here are so nice. I love them. So I love it here. Us or them? I love the people here, not you. <laughs> we miss Cindy, but there's always next time. Bread pudding. Right, Michael misses his bread pudding. Now we're going to the green turtle. Perry, because my hand's frozen. You know, when, they, when you uh, stone your first double digit hogfish, you gotta lick that thing hanging out of it. Yeah, you gotta, <laughs> lick, you gotta lick the prolapse. Look at that, that is insane. It's a good box. So we made it back to green turtle. You guys remember the rest of these guys from yesterday? Maybe you've seen them in videos before. We're gonna go over to the dollar bar. Green Turtle Club, that is a nice cooler of hogs. Dollar bar, Green Turtle. Keep going. Good. She even has her own pink stapler. One of them was a male cheerleader. Nail it, Connie, nail it! <laughs> Connie was a male cheerleader. Connie was a male cheerleader. Yes. <laughs> That's the one. Get it. Woo! Nice. That is a nice pile of hogfish. That's a pretty solid one right there. I think that's the one I got, maybe. I don't know. We got some good ones. We got them. <laughs> Hold that for one sec. Yep. This is the one we're about to fillet this one. Do a quick little cleaning video. There you go. Right there. Yeah. Okay, Salt water. Are you, you going to it? it? Yeah, I'll hold you. All right. I'm just gonna pause that just for a second. Or one sec, give me one fish. So we're gonna find the soft spot where the skull meets the meat. Pop the knife in there, really sharp knife. Go down, quick little turn, keep the blade angled up. To come through the scales. God, those things are like armor. And that's just kind of our outline, not going deep, just a little cut. And now we're following those bones all the way down. I think I'm only ever seen you be nice. So we get to the bottom, the fin, we're gonna, or the spine, we're gonna pop over the spine. And then come out right by that fin. Come out through the tail. It's all slippery, this table's so slippery. We finish this cut. Going up through it. Use the bigger knife. 
and I can cut right through the bones. It'll fit through the whole fillet. Get the ribs. We're gonna rock it. That power through the ribs. That's right. Just a little bit here, right there. But super good meat. We'll be cooking that up. I think we're doing some tonight, so we'll see you in the kitchen. Oh, no, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't look at that, Royce. We did our best. We are here with the chef, Con Con Marie. What did you prepare for us this lovely evening? Whatever was available to grab. I mean, we got a little bit of hogfish. How'd you do the hogfish? Oh, your signature. Scott, Connie's right. signature Black dish. Black and tacos. He's here. Black and tacos. We got hogfish. We got rice. We got Asian noodles, things, salsa, in the competition, right there. Those two guys. Perfect. No, get the. Those two guys. Get the hogfish. All right, it's dinner time. What you got, Mason? <laughs> and we're even housing the competition's bait in our freezer oh, right yeah, yeah. right next to the bleach. I, I was gonna say, it's I, with I all the that. bleach. I know where that's going. I don't want to see it. So we got we're having a good time over here and now we're gonna enjoy dinner and do something different tomorrow. Oh.